Good evening, Chocolate Milk Mamas. How are you? And today I'm going to be talking about what is in my baby bag. And I'm also going to be changing this baby bag to this baby bag. I got both these baby bags as um, this one I got as a gift. Gift. Um, this girl, she customized this gift for Noah when Noah was born, and I've been using it ever since. I got some good use out of it. I'm still going to continue to use it, but I feel like I want to upgrade it to this one because I just feel like it's time to change this one out. This one is the insides. The pockets are like ripping, like like this part, I don't know what you call this, but it's coming out and I just feel like the insulation is breaking and I feel like it's just time for a new. And then, you know, when she customized it, now it's coming off. So I just wanna change this book bag to this book bag, but it's not anything major that's wrong with it. It's just me wanting to change it out. So with that being said, I wanna show you what is inside of this book bag and possibly inside of this book bag because this is the book bag that I, sent him, that I sent him to school with. And this is usually the book bag that I take with us out. So yeah. So let's dive into what's on the inside of these book bags as I swap them out. So this is a pacifier holder. Um, so when Noah was a baby, he didn't usually, he was breastfed, so he didn't really um, use the pacifier off too often, but this is a pacifier holder. I don't know, it probably was a gift, but he never used it. So I don't even know why I still have it in the bag. So I guess I can toss that. I have a spoon in here, a baby spoon. I have, I don't know. Okay, I know exactly what this is. So you see this? This is tape. I'm gonna show you a picture of when Noah used to suck on his two, two uh, fingers. He used to suck on his two fingers and it was going really, really bad. They were looking so just wet and slimy and disgusting so i had to find something to break him out of that habit if you want to know more tips that i use to break him out of that habit just comment that it could be a whole nother video but this is the picture and this is um a piece of that um tape that i used to tape up his hands while he was going through that little phase in his life that he is no longer um, in, but it's like a bittersweet feeling like, oh, I remember those days, but I'm glad they're over. So that was all that was in this pocket. Let's see. There is nothing in this pocket. Let's look in here. There is nothing in this pocket. But then right here, we have these diaper disposable bags these are girl i wouldn't even waste my money on it because nine times out of ten if you're changing his diaper somewhere a lot of the times you okay yeah okay i changed his diaper and i did not use this every time i've never used these that's probably why they're just still in the bag and it's a lot of them i never use these but there, there, there has been a time where I changed his pamper and threw the pamper in the bag because there was nowhere to throw the pamper. So instead of just throwing the pamper in the bag, you can use this disposable, these disposable bags. But see me, some, I have a lot going on and I sometimes I just do not have the time. I need to make time for the things that I know that I need to do. Like, Put the diaper in a in a bag. Like, don't just throw it in, or or just throw it. If you don't have the time, just throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag. Oh. Okay, we have these side pockets, which I love. His sister has this is his sister's lip gloss. She probably slid it on in there. 
there's another pocket on this side, but there's nothing in it. Let's check the big part. The big part, I must have emptied this. So that is a piece of, I don't know, so it's going in trash. Um, this is a, this paper. This is a mat where you can lay the baby on. Oops. So I'm gonna keep that, because you never know. Even though he's grown, grown out of that, well, not completely, but this is trash. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my baby's mama, AKA Chocolate Milk Mama. This is for my best friend. She know me so well. And she always gets me the, the most beautiful card in the whole wide world. Absolutely love her. This is another card. This is the most recent card she got me for Valentine's Day. This says, you are the best. It says, this is 100% true fact. Happy Valentine's Day. She said, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Love you much, Betsy. Beep, my Betsy, boop. But yeah, she is the godmother to both of my children. But Christina has another. She Christina has two godmothers and Noah has one. So she is the godmother to both of my children. Godchildren, I mean, to both of my children. But yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold up. Okay. We have another spoon, and then we also have this teether, this teether thing. So we're gonna put these things down. Because I'll probably empty this. Make sure you empty your, your baby's bag. I would say about once or twice a month. Once or twice a month, give or take. If you have the time, do it. If you don't, that's fine too, but empty your bag make sure you don't have any pampers that are you know not the baby size but what i like to do is i like to pre-pack bags so if i'm if i have to get up and go the bag is already packed come on grab the bag let's go so that's what i'm doing right now i'm pre-packing the bag the kids are down settled and i have the time so because i have the time i'm going through these bags making sure that um for this bag I make sure that this is the bag that he takes to school every week. So for this bag, I make sure that he has his um, pampers, diapers for the week. I make sure he has some wipes in here. I make sure his cup is in here. I make sure like a uh, diaper rash cream is in here. I just make sure he has, I also make sure he has an updated like set of clothes so that is very important because a lot of times when we send our kids to the daycare a lot of times they have accidents and as they get older we're like okay you know we forget that they still need those clothes because they're not those extra clothes because they're not having the accidents as often continue to put those extra clothes in that bag christina is five years old she's in vpk and she rarely ever has accidents. But I recently started putting an extra set of clothes in her boot bag because she had a random accident where during that time she had a bad dream and she had an accident and she had her underwear, she had extra underwear there, but for some strange reason she didn't have an extra set of pants. For me, I feel like as a mother, I was slipping. So what I did the next day, I said those, I washed, I washed her blanket. I washed those pants that she was sent home with. The underwear, um, the underwear were hers, so we didn't have to give that back. I gave the pants back, sent her back with her uh, blanket. And then I sent her with two extra pairs of um, panties, two extra pairs of pants, and two extra shirts just in case she has an accident. So now from this day on, she brings a, takes a book bag to school with extra clothes. And every weekend, I'm going to start checking to make sure or when I realize that they up a size to check their book bags. That's what I'm doing. Not every weekend. Every weekend, I always do the Pampers for Noah, but 
for the clothes when i know that they up to size i'm going to go through their things again and then make sure that their their um extra clothes that they have in their book bag or that they take back and forth to school is something that they can fit because i just hate looking for clothes and for my kids or for myself or really mainly for my kids and I find a shirt that is too small or I find some pants that are too small because a lot of times we're in a rush I don't know why I wake up very early but it seems like we're always in a rush and then if I tell my daughter go get go get some pants or if I'm not here and my mom decides to pick her up and take her somewhere. I want her clothes to fit and to look up to par. I don't want her going anywhere looking crazier or looking like I don't take care of her. I want her to be able to. That's why I tell her where things are. That's why I make sure that I'm rotating their clothes, making sure that her clothes are where she can pick them up, get them, put them on, do what she needs to do. So that way she doesn't look not put together even if she's mixed matching she's going to be put, put together and them clothes going to fit okay it doesn't matter i don't i don't care about her mixed matching i just care about her clothes fitting because and she's wearing something decent as long as it's in her drawer it should be decent not staying ripped too small no i'm not doing that no none of that so i take pride in going through their clothes i think it's a routine that all moms should have or incorporate you know start incorporating you know going through and making sure that the clothes that they do have in their drawer fit because i feel like that is essential but back to the bag <laughs> back to the bag so let's see what's in this bag this is the bag that he takes to school every day it's in really good condition it's in really good condition but some parts aren't and that's why i want to trade it out so this is some whoop, this is the cream this is some andy ointment um christina i'm not christina noah's but we make sure that we put this a and d ointment on his backside and sometimes on his skin because his skin has become really really rough so i'm going to start putting this on his skin i use um aquaphor and i'm also going to start using this andy ointment um just so his skin can be protected so it's not um too irritated and it's not that dry it's helped helps prevent and treat diaper rashes but we're gonna make sure we use this on the skin as well so I'm gonna add this to this to this bag. And he has an extra pair of shoes because sometimes in the morning when we're getting ready for school, he doesn't wanna put on his shoes. So I just send him with an extra pair of shoes, an extra pair of socks, because sometimes when we're on our way, our way to school and I put his socks on, he kicks his socks off. So not only do we does he have an extra pair of sho shoes, he also has an extra pair of socks in here so let's add this to the new to the to that bag another pair of socks just in case just in case he has them on when he comes home one day and i forget to put another pair in there so the next zipper has pampers so we keep pampers on deck and when I put pampers in his bag I make sure every day that he comes home from school I look in his bag and make sure that he has pampers so when he runs out of pampers I just reload it with pampers and with wipes wipes I make sure that he has wipes okay so with wipes I put wipes or give him wipes like once a month to his school for him to take to school um, unless he's teething and he's um, having like diarrhea or having more bowel movements I put extra pampers but not as I'm saying this lasts a good month if there I think because the teacher that's what that's what they do they don't they don't ask for more so 
If they ask for more, I'll send them more. But as of right now, we send them monthly. A lollipop? Trash. Before anybody see it. shorts these shorts are a uh, 12 month so he can still fit this by the hair on his chin 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 he can still fit this let me see if this is also oh this is 18 months so we got a 12 month and we got an 18 month a size up so he can continue we're gonna leave this in the bag we live in miami and we don't usually um, need jackets that often but I put a jacket in his bag because sometimes it gets cold in his school so I want to make sure that he has a jacket in his bag in his sister bag I always um, she has a, a sweater like a little cardigan so cute that she has at her that <laughs> that her school has like a little school cardigan and I put that in her book bag every day it goes with her back and forth to school so that way if she gets cold while she's in school she has her jacket and so now that i'm going through his bag i can see that he needs two shirts so what i'll do is i'll go get shirts i'll add shirts to the bag and that's it boom so that is what is in his bag that's it as they get older as your children get older you're gonna see that they're you don't need as much and to be honest when they're babies they don't need that much you they spend all this time in your belly without using half of the stuff that they have now so when they come out what they need is some tlc some tender loving care from you so what you can do is continue to provide them with love and try your best to provide them with care and talk to them and have them talk to you and listen to them and see what their needs are you know despite you know shuffle through the things they want really listen and see what their needs are um i just wanted to leave you with that hopefully these videos are helping you if not let me know <laughs> and if they are let me know because that helps me to continue to keep pushing because i'm pushing out videos because i want to encourage you and to let you know um, some tips that I use and build a community so that way we can come together as chocolate milk mamas and I don't know we're gonna figure it out together okay so thank you for watching oh did I forgot to say his cup so his cup is not in his bag I usually um, send him to school with the cup, but I don't put the cup in the bag because I always put juice in his cup, put the juice in the refrigerator so when we're on our way out the door, I can grab the juice and we leave. Grab the juice, maybe grab a snack, and we head on out the door, get to school. Yeah, because in the morning time, sometimes the morning is a bit rushed, okay? I wake up at 5.30 sometimes. 5 30 sometimes six o'clock depending on the day so yeah um i don't usually have I, sometimes i don't have time sometimes i don't feel like pouring the juice in the morning so i pour it at night put it in the refrigerator because i know that's one thing he's gonna want so i try to be proactive try to be proactive moms <laughs> okay i'm out